This is Zach with Affinia talking about 3D printing. Oh, thanks for having me. Um, this is the Affinia desktop 3D printer. Um, the, as you can see, the software here, you have your Pirate. Um, the software will automatically generate any support material needed. Um, it's a simply a plug and play printer. So, just like any printer, you hit the print button, it'll send the file to the internal SD card, which will in turn, uh, which you call the G code in 3D printing, and it will print the model layer by layer. As it prints a layer, the platform will drop down six thousandths of an inch, and it'll print that layer and keep doing that until the model's finished. Do you find that this is something that schools are utilizing? Yes, very much so. I mean, you can um, anywhere from K through 12, um, a lot of universities, um, large universities, small universities, community colleges um, are using this for different types of education. Um, they're using it for problem solving, um, being able to figure out what's wrong with the model or why it's not printing, why it's not working. Uh, and they also, it's, it's just a lot quicker than me back in the day where you'd have to go through many processes to get a model printed and then being able to use it. Now they can simply do their manufacturing right on site. Absolutely. And this is Tracy Doherty with Moss. Now, how do you find that most schools are using this um, with the STEM curriculum? Well, most schools have been teaching STEM for a long time. They haven't always called it that. It might be a CAD program, it might be a mechanics program. But by taking STEM, you're combining all these technologies into one. And with the 3D printing, you can do so many things as far as prototyping and then making sure it works, fit and measurement. Um, so, you know, you think about a bearing like this, it's probably kind of hard to see, but you think about a bearing like this, there's a lot of design that goes into that for that to function. Um, if it's not printed correctly, it will not work. Um, many times when they make a part, they always do a prototype. In the past, like Zach mentioned, years ago, they'd have to machine it. They'd have to go through multiple processes to get to that part. With a 3D printer, you can print your model. And then the kids can do a lot of mathematical calculations, a lot of engineering in the design to make sure it's going to function and then improve upon it. There's a lot of different books here. Some of them come with printers. Some are third-party books. But there's one, for instance, that has the fan-powered car, just for example. So you can design this fan. What, what if you design it with three blades instead of five blades? What if you make it a one-inch diameter or a three-inch diameter? How does that affect the overall performance of the car? Is it, as it gets bigger, does the weight cause it to slow down, or does it catch more air and move faster? All of these things come into play, and there's a ton of design work involved in that in a very simple platform. So now, instead of having pieces you purchase from whoever, you can actually make your part and make changes and see how well it functions. So that's just a couple of examples of, of how it can be used in STEM and how the students can enhance your learning by 3D printing.